October 2024, the Worker Protection Act of 2023 will take effect. This will introduce stronger obligations for employers to safeguard their employees from sexual harassment in the workplace. The new law establishes a legal duty for employers to actively prevent sexual harassment in the workplace by taking reasonable steps, rather than simply responding to complaints after the fact. It also emphasises the responsibility of employers to protect employees beyond the immediate office setting, requiring businesses to take steps to ensure employees are safeguarded during work-related events, such as conferences, networking events and office parties, as well as protection against third parties such as customers and suppliers. The requirement to take reasonable steps to prevent sexual harassment can seem broad, but the Equality and Human Rights Commission, the EHRC, has offered guidance explaining the interpretation of reasonable will vary from business to business based on several factors such as the size of the organisation, its resources and the sector in which it operates. Failure to comply with the new regulations can result in investigations. The EHRC has the authority to investigate and take enforcement action against non-compliant employers. Additionally, in cases where a sexual harassment claim is successful, the Employment Tribunal could increase the compensation by up to 25% if the business has failed to take adequate steps to prevent the harassment. Some practical steps to help you prepare for these changes and ensure you are compliant and protecting your workforce can include now having to assess the risks in your workplace. As part of the legislation change, it is now a requirement that you identify areas where sexual harassment risks may be higher. This could be customer facing roles, during social events or in businesses where there is perhaps a gender imbalance. As part of the risk assessment, you must develop strategies to minimise these risks. You must revise your anti-harassment policies, review your existing policies or create a new one that clearly defines sexual harassment, outlines reporting procedures, how you're addressing risks with third parties and includes behaviour at work related events. This policy should be accessible and well communicated to all employees. You should offer comprehensive training to the entire workforce. Provide regular training to all staff members, including senior management. This should cover identifying and preventing sexual harassment. Make sure employees understand their rights and how to report concerns. At HPC, we provide sexual harassment prevention training for employers and their employees. It's necessary to be clear on your zero tolerance policy. Consider posters or signage within the workplace explaining to third parties your business stance. Could you add wording to your email signature strips, websites or any other form of communication with customers, clients or other third parties? When working with contractors, you could add clauses within the agreements that are clear on your expectations of them. You need to ensure you are actively addressing complaints. Treat all complaints seriously and investigate them properly and promptly. A clear, fair process for handling complaints builds trust with employees and demonstrates your commitment to a safe working environment. Revisit your grievance and whistleblowing policies and emphasise that there will be no retaliation from these complaints. If you require any support or guidance on implementing these changes within your workplace, please get in touch with the HPC team today.